purpose of this video is to discuss the properties of the sound in object. The sound in object can be found in the toolbox by scrolling down and clicking on this little arrow. Now the purpose of the sound in object is to record sound from the microphone or any microphone plugged in your computer sound card. Like the sound out object, it doesn't actually have a visual component. So to add the sound in object to your experiment, simply take it from the toolbox and drag it to anywhere you'd like in your experiment. By default, it will be called sound in one. Go ahead and double click on it to take a look at its properties. Now you notice that its properties are pretty bare. Again, it doesn't have a visual component. The first property here is capture file name. This lets you determine what the file name is for the audio that you're about to capture. The at auto is a shortcut that ePrime automatically generates that simply takes the name of the experiment file and uses that as your sound in recording. The buffer size property lets you set how long your sound file is going to be. And buffer mode can either be buffered or buffered. Stop after is currently set to yes, so after the duration of the object is done, we will stop audio recording, and the stop after mode is set to next onset time. It can also be set to offset time. And end capture action lets you determine what happens after you're done capturing the audio. Does nothing happen? Does this object terminate, or does it jump to another point in the experiment? The comment tab allows you to change the name of the object, whether or not there is a tag associated with the object, or if there are any notes you would like to take. The script generation allows you to determine whether or not this sound in object will be loaded at the top of the procedure or before the object is run. We recommend keeping this at inherent. And handles conditional exit lets you set whether or not participants can choose to opt out of the experiment while they're recording audio. The duration input tab allows you to set the duration, which is how long this object remains active in ePrime. The data logging tab, which allows you to pick what data you're logging for the sound in object. The timing mode, which allows you to choose either event, cumulative, or custom. And pre-release, which allows you to give up part of this object's duration and internal processing in the background to preload the next object in the procedural timeline. If you'd like participants to also respond while the recording sound, you would add that right here with the input masks. And you would click add to determine what device through which participants are responding. Once you've selected an input mask, the response options become available on the right. So you're allowed to say which allowable your setting, so what can they press on the keyboard? Is there a correct answer? And for how long do participants have to respond using the keyboard? And then the end action property allows you to set what happens once they're done responding. You can either terminate the object to move on to the next object in the experimental timeline, jump to another point in the experiment, or nothing will happen. And you can set the jump label here, which allows you to set whether or not you are going to a different point in the experiment and where that other point is. The task events property allows you to time lock specific functions in the sound out object with different events that you would like to happen. So for example, we can add one at the onset time, so as soon as participants begin speaking, we can either activate some script or we can send signals to external devices. The sync tab is currently set to none and none since there is no visual component of the sound in object. We generally don't recommend setting this to vertical blank as there's no visual component to the sound object, so there's nothing really to sync it to. The logging tab allows you to determine what data is being logged for the actual sound in object itself. And the experiment advisor tab allows you to gather experiment advisor type data for the sound in object, so either onset to onset stats, onset delay stats, or load time stats. That concludes the property for the sound in object. Thank you very much for watching.